Hi everyone, I think no one have a bad memory, but we all have a selective memory. We tend to remember more the information corresponding to our top two function because they have high capacity and less the information that enter in our lower function because they have medium and low capacity. We prefer and remember better the information that enter in our preferred function, the function 1 and 2, our personality, our psychological type, our function stack prioritize certain information, but it's more complex than that, it is not only defined by our base type or cognitive function. Each one of the eight functions or consciousness are different types of information and therefore memories, each one of the eight different functions process and register information differently. The SI better memory is a big misconception, it's just SI and NI organize information differently. For proof, for example, my mother ESFJ has SI as second function and me INTJ, I have SI as function 8, she has bad memory and I have excellent short term memory and long term memory. Another misconception is extrovert have a better short-term memory, which is uh, wrong. For example, my mother ESFJ never knew if she locked the door or not. A co-worker ESTP, she always forgot her purse as a coffee machine. An ENTJ friend always put his stuff at a random place and he don't remember where he put his stuff 30 seconds later. We all can remember something. But the way we remember it is different. Globally, F better remember the feeling, emotional, social aspect, the people, the good bad. T remember better the thinking, calculating, the logical aspect, the thing, the object, the right wrong. S better remember the detail, the surface without interpretation. N remember better the world, the essence, the meaning the most important, the depth, the existential. Maybe NE remembers the meaningful positive scenario and a lot of scenarios. Maybe NI remembers the negative scenario and therefore trauma, the inconsistency in space and time, the information that don't match. Maybe TE remembers the external logic of things, how they function together, how a system externally functions. Maybe TI remembers the internal logic of things, the logical inconsistency in a system. Maybe SE remembers the positive sensation and experience and a lot of detail. Maybe SI remembers the negative physical sensation and experience. Maybe FE remembers people and information, especially when they experience positive feeling. Maybe FI remember people and information that provoked them negative feeling and maybe I say stupid and wrong thing. More in depth and in detail, if we take the objective personality system, we remember with more precision, clearer, the information corresponding to the functions which are masculine and we have a more blurry memory about the information corresponding to the function which are feminine. Other than our eight cognitive function, the memory is influenced by many other things such as the neurodivergence, example, a person who is Asperger is more likely to have masculine sensory function and therefore to have a good, sharper, more precise memory for detail which correspond well to their photographic or filmographic memory. The anxiety, depression, sleep deprivation, medication, drugs, nutritional deficiency, illness, conditions that damage brain tissues, traumas, many factors and things influence the memory. Even if our base type, psychological type and objective personality type or cognitive function are our core functioning and therefore how we process information, learn and the memory, it is not only defined by it. As I shared in many videos in the past, there are many layers in our entire personality, we are complex. 
Example, two person who have the same bus type can have a different memory, one can be agreed to remember detail, the other not, one can have good short-term memory, the other not. Also, I think the unconscious knows everything, it doesn't filter the information, doesn't miss information, whereas our conscious filters the information, miss information, and select information, depending of our cognitive function stack of our preferences. This is just my perception. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.